Kaylee. Yeah. Have you heard from Sean? No, I haven't. Not a word. No call, no text, nothing. I don't know. It's 30 minutes late. So Sean's been late to the workouts. At first, Sean was executing, but recently, he just hasn't given 100%. Late as the recurring theme. Nice. <sighs> Come on, man. I need more focus. The more you give me to work with, the more work we can get done. We never quit. We never cancel. We're never late. You gain one pound. Like, no one I've worked with ever had, like, worse numbers after seeing these. There's not a single number on here. It's better. And what is this? Jerk chicken and pizza. That's all you ate all day long? Yeah. I just had means back to back that day, and I did meal prep. All Sean has to do now is wake up in the morning, open his Sunfair bag, eat his pre-workout meal, go to his workout, go to his job, do his work, eat his dinner, go to bed. Sounds simple. He's up. Lunch meeting. I uh, had pizza and a sangria. Sean came again today, he just left. Uh, his numbers got worse. I gave him a very specific food plan, like written in his journal. I don't know, Sean is a big question mark. I'm nervous because I'm actually have to fly to Norway, be there for a couple days for work. So it's going to be a, a hard challenge to really stay on task. You didn't talk about Sean, man. Seriously. I gave him the thumbs up for Norway. It's a big opportunity. So I said, go, do it. He made big improvements initially, right. and now he's faltering. One foot in, one foot out. 100% is pulling what you can feel it. A big part of my practice is investing emotionally in the clients and patients I work with. Sean, and there's a lot of distance there. And I could really sense that I had that ability to break through that distance and figure out, you know, how to connect with him. But now, I don't know, sad. I'm not angry, just bummed.